Hmm, what is up with this fast charging business? You know, a back what, a couple of years ago, fast charging was a new thing. People were raving about how fast they can charge the smart device. But in my mind, if I go to bed and my device is fully charged, I'm perfectly happy. Who cares if it can charge in 20 minutes or in two hours? Rav power, and this thing can charge up devices super quick. I can charge an iPad Pro 11 in two hours, a full-size MacBook, or this is a, what is this, Asus book, which is a 16 inch in two hours. Now, this DJI drone, charging in about 20 minutes. We all love the Nintendo Switch, charge this guy in less than an hour. Here's a couple things you need to know about fast charging. For stars, no, it will not ruin your battery. It's very similar to standard charging. There's built-in circuitry that prevents damage to your battery. Secondly, make sure your hardware is compatible with fast charging. Make sure you can support higher power adapters. Secondly, make sure your cable is compatible. Yes, there's cheap cables out there that will not support fast charging. That power is a 100 watt two port wall charger. And according to the manufacturer, like I said, can charge a full size iPad in about two hours, a full size notebook in about two hours. So that's pretty impressive. This charger itself costs about $79. On your website i might have a coupon down below so if you're interested check it out let's see we have the instructions right there it has pd technology not sure what that is i'll put something there so you can see what pd represents it's pd 3.0 if i recall cool toss that aside it's actually pretty long maybe what three feet four feet um this is usb type c now just be careful you cannot use any type of uh cable uh so if you get a cheap one on amazon for like two dollars it's not going to utilize the fast charging technology you actually have to use one that uses the chip so what my recommendation is if you are going to get this power adapter and you plan on using more than one device to charge simultaneously just grab another one of the cables from the website uh so you're actually going to benefit from that fast charging so it's rad power right there i like the fact it has this little pop out uh, prongs for the AC adapter and there's the um, can you see that the two little USB type C port and see how much better the wrap power is versus a regular iPad uh, 11 inch charger so just hold on a second I'm gonna go ahead and show you that test right now and then we'll jump back and give you my uh, impressions all right let's go ahead and take a look at this chart here you can see 10 watt 12 watt 18 watts the higher the wattage, the quicker it can charge an iPad. Now, one thing to know is the 100 watt power adapter can charge an iPad Pro 11 inch in about two hours. Now, if you go any higher than that in terms of wattage, it really doesn't make any difference because we're reaching the max charging limit of the iPad Pro. Okay, so one benefit of having a fast charger hooked up is the fact that if you don't, you actually will lose power as you're running the device. So in this example, within a minute or so, it dropped down from 30% to about 29% and so on. Now with the RAV power, you can see it's charging up fairly quickly. So every 40 seconds or so, it actually goes up a percentage. Now, one thing to know is there's different power levels for different devices. You can see this chart here. I'll actually freeze frame it for you guys so you can take a look. Okay, so some devices are bigger, like charging a laptop versus maybe like an Apple Watch. But you can see the, the device can intentionally switch between different waters, so it can optimize the charging for each device that is hooked up. Uh, just with one port being used, it can produce up to 100 watts of power. But if you have two of these cables hooked up to two different devices, it will have uh, 50 watts of power per port. And it can evenly balance that out. Uh, so it's a pretty smart charger. I felt like it didn't get super hot when charging up my devices pretty rapidly. It seems like the weight uh, has a, probably a pretty good heat sink inside, so um, it shouldn't uh, overheat. Overall, this is a pretty nice power adapter, so thank you, Rad Power, for sending me this. And again, if you're traveling or if you just want to charge up your devices super quick, I think this Rad Power is a nice accessory to all your devices that you may own. Okay, so stick around. I got some cool gadgets. I'm going to actually put some, uh, bring some toys on this channel as well. I got some cool battling robots and some other stuff. Just kind of mix it up. But of course, uh, for this year, I'll bring some new robotic vacuums. I'm working with Roblox and Ecofax. I think they have some cool products coming out. And of course, Narwhal is going to have a new version as well. So I'll work with those companies and bring that on this channel. So I apologize. It's a little slow right now for the new year. But just stay tuned. I will have some uh, different products here. So thank you to Snaking here. I'm just going to wave goodbye. See you later. Be safe out there.